Hi, this is Arthur Carmazzi, best-selling author and currently ranked as one of the world's top 10 thought leaders in organizational culture and leadership. And I'd like to tell you about our internationally accredited gamification certification, specifically a work gamification certification. So what exactly is work gamification? Well, essentially, if you want to improve efficiency, if you want to improve engagement, and of course, if you want to improve fun in your organization, well, then gamification or work gamification is the key. And well, why do you want to get certified in work gamification? Let me kind of give you an idea. First of all, Okay. If you are in an organization, probably you've been working in different organizations and you know that, well, organizations are different. If you are a trainer, a coach, a consultant, you also know that every company that you work with is different. And that means, well, there's a different set of problems, there's different goals, and of course, you know, there's different processes that are affecting everything. And if you have a one size fits all kind of thing for them, number one, they're not interested in you because you're generic. Number two, um, you're boring. I mean, face it, you know, it's like the same stuff over and over and over again. It's just boring. Okay, so. What the work gamification certification does is it literally is a game that plays out completely different within each organization. And of course, the goal is to come up with not just some ideas on work gamification, but a very specific work gamification result. So this creates a very unique opportunity. Number one, if you're a coach or a consultant, it creates an opportunity for you to, well, basically make some really good money in a niche that is not very, very, very populated at this time. In fact, there's just a few people that are doing work gamification. So this gives you an extreme advantage because there are organizations out there, uh, well, actually most organizations uh, that are forward moving are very aware of the potential benefits of work gamification if done correctly. And let's say, for example, let's say you're uh, within an organization, okay, this gives you an opportunity to essentially get visible results so that, well, basically you get promoted and people like you more because like you've made work more fun. Okay, so what does this gamification thing do? It creates visible results, okay? We're not talking about, uh, oh, hey, let's have some fun. We're talking about literally getting visible results. It improves engagement, it improves performance, it improves the ability to measure things, and of course, it solves multiple problems all at the same time. How do we do this? Well, okay, we are using the Performancia game, which is literally an actual game that people play for an entire day, and this day that they are playing this game, they are going through the process of creating a complete work gamification game, okay? A system. They're not thinking about it, they're not learning things, they're actually creating an implementable game. So at the end of one day, they go back, okay? And then the next day, they can actually implement it. It's not something where they learn some stuff and go, oh, that was fun, let's see uh, how much of it I remember. There's nothing to remember because they have created a very specific systematic process of gamifying things like leadership, communication, cross-departmental cooperation, innovation, safety, all kinds of stuff depending on the objectives of the organization. And of course, the game itself is fun to play. So you're not just having fun, but you are actually creating visible results and a complete system at the end of your training, okay? Now, all of this connected to performance measurement basically means that it becomes much easier to measure people's performance, okay? I mean, think about it. Every time you play a game, okay, you have to measure it. You measure various aspects, even on Facebook, for example. You're constantly measuring how many likes, how many shares, how many friends, okay? All of these are 
tangible numbers. And when you gamify a word process, guess what you get? Tangible numbers, tangible results that can be measured. And people are doing it for fun. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm being measured. And okay, it's not like that because they're having fun in the process. Okay, so the other thing, of course, is employee engagement. Why? Well, because they are having fun in the process. They're getting a lot of emotional drives fulfilled in the process of achieving organizational objectives. They're getting their personal emotional drives filled and essentially having fun and growing and becoming more effective and more efficient. And of course, you know, we like to do that when we start to see our progress when we when it especially connected to measurement we can see oh my gosh I was here yesterday and you know or last week and now I'm here okay and it could be simple things like uh, leadership potential okay or communicate looking at the communication index okay so there's all these different kinds of things that create employee engagement and of course performance management when you start seeing that these people might be kind of going down a little bit and these people might be going up and you start to look at why and where which is very easy when you have a gamified work process guess what well you can actually improve performance management Okay. And of course, if you're a coach um, or a consultant, all of this is 100% customized. Everything is very specifically customized for the organization itself. Okay. And after the gamification process, okay, there's a lot of additional tools that you as a consultant, okay, or a coach or a trainer or an HR person within an organization can implement to ensure the gamification continues, okay, such as the corporate culture evolution evaluation to basically see how evolved your cor your corporate culture was at the beginning and then actually see the improvement over time okay the HTMA which basically mirrors perception gaps okay and perception gaps are well how you see yourself compared to other how other people see you and of course okay there's squadly instant feedback in the palm of your hand with your mobile phone and of course you probably know about colored brain so you can see how different people in different groups are working together and how you can communicate better with them and of course see how all of that connects to what you're trying to achieve okay so what does this all mean? Well, basically, if you're doing this for profit, it gives you a lot of opportunities to basically get paid for doing the game so that they actually have the visible complete system at the end of your training. But sometimes they get busy right when they get back. So that gives you another opportunity to implement the game after they go back, which, of course, is an implementation consulting after work kind of charge. And then, of course, with all of the tools, okay, you also get residual income from all of these tools that are purchased over monthly or in some cases annual contracts okay and or some of them are like single shot deals but still you're getting additional income from the tools and if you are working in an organization and you want to get gamification certification that also you don't have to make money on it if you don't want to okay but you still get all of the different tools and everything else at the gamification certification wholesale price. So all this stuff combined basically creates one big certification that is accredited by the American Institute of Business Psychology. So right now go to www.gamification.coach and sign up. This is Arthur Carmazzi wishing you great success.